Thanks very much, Chair, and I'll, I'll seek to respond directly to the, uh, the, the, the amendments first, speak to you the amendments first in this section, and then speak to some of the wider points. So the bill as it currently stands provides for a review of the operation of the scheme at section 42. And the intention is that two reviews will be conducted on the scheme. The first is an interim one, which will be commenced two years after the second anniversary of the Establishment Day, and, after, and one after the completion of the scheme. Uh, section 12 of the bill also provides that the chief deciding officer shall pre prepare an annual report on the performance of their function and that each annual report will be laid before the houses of the Oireachtas. Section 42 sets out a list of matters that should be considered as part of these reviews and allows for the minister to specify any additional matter. I consider that, the matters, that these matters uh, are appropriate to the purpose of this section, which is to allow for a comprehensive review of the scheme as enacted. It's for this reason that I'm not in a position to accept Amendment 2 or Amendment 62, as both amendments propose matters which represent a review of the parameters of the scheme and a broadening of the eligibility beyond what has been agreed by government and what has been provided for within this bill. This is not a function of the legislation and that would require a distinct uh, government approval. However, I have given consideration to the matters raised at committee stage in relation to the manner in which this review is published and the time scales for commencement. As outlined at committee stage, I did not think it was proportionate or feasible to commence a review of the scheme six months after its establishment as proposed in Amendment 2. However, I was of the view that proposals brought forward at committee stage, and again today by way of amendments 59 and 60 by deputies Ward and Funchen, are reasonable. These amendments propose that reviews should be commenced not later than six months after the second anniversary of the scheme and the secession date. Therefore, I'm proposing amendment 58, which provides that the first or interim review of the operation of the scheme should be commenced as soon as possible, but no later than six months after the second anniversary of the establishment day for the scheme, and that the review on completion of the scheme should be commenced as soon as possible, but not later than six months after the secession day for the scheme. I'm also proposing Amendment 61, which explicitly states that where a review is completed, a report will be prepared and submitted to the Minister, and that the Minister shall cause this report to be laid before the, both Houses of the Oireachtas. It was always the intention that this would be the case. However, I think in committee stage, Deputy Sherlock pointed out that this wasn't explicit, and I think the amendment now makes the, uh, makes the, uh, the, the, the matter explicit. Deputies, as I've acknowledged in, in previous proceedings in relation this, to this bill, I'm acutely aware that no one scheme can, can provide a response to the full range of individual experiences the, and pain suffering by, suffered by survivors a, as a result of the legacy of these institutions. The state is proposing a scheme where applicants will not be required to demonstrate or bring forward evidence in relation to their experience or in, enter into an adversarial uh, individual assessment process. And this learns from the experience of previous redress schemes. The general payment approach recognizes time spent in the institutions, but also the harsh conditions, the emotional abuse, and all other forms of mistreatment, stigma, and trauma experienced in the, in the institutions. And the payments increase based on time spent, also recognises the impact of the longer stays in these harsh institutional settings. I've said before, the payment scheme is one element of the range of responses by the, by the state to survivors and former residents. This range of responses includes counselling services for all sur survivors and former residents, the very significant information and tracing act that was launched in 2021, a service which provides guaranteed access to birth certificates as well as early life information, the establishment of a national centre for research and remembrance, the support for local memorial initiatives, the appointment of a special advocate, a children's fund to provide supports for children who are currently experiencing disadvantage, and the significant work to advance the excavation, the uh, exhumation and the identification of the remains of infants in the, tomb, uh, in, in, in the tomb burial site. I know from my engagement with survivors that redress comes in many forms and means different things for different people. Uh, uh, 
for many um, for, 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 for many people who went through these institutions, uh, key desire for them was the access to their information. And as we know, that is now provided within the institutional so the, the, the birth information and tracing legislation. Over six and a half thousand people have sought information through that scheme, and already uh, just short of 1,500 people have received access to their information, some of them for the very first time. The government has agreed a payment scheme, and as I said before, it has an estimated value of 800 million euro. It will cover an estimated 34,000 uh, former residents and survivors. Recognizing the huge impact, the huge scale of uh, a, a, of impact that these institutions had across the state over, uh, uh, over many decades. This is far beyond what was recommended in the Commission's report. It's far beyond even what the uh, interdepartmental group uh, pr proposed to government. And this scheme stands alongside the other elements of the action plan information and tracing legislation, the legislation to allow for the exhumation of TUM, the provision of a records and memorial centre. It stands as part of an overall response that the uh, state is making in seeking to, and I've always said we will, never, we, we, we will never be able to do enough, but in seeking to make amends to survivors of these institutions. Thank you.